Evil Season 4 has a huge challenge after its unbelievable five-year Rotten Tomatoes streak. The horror show has consistently received excellent reviews since its first season premiered in 2019. After initially releasing on CBS, the series then transitioned to Paramount+, Plus, which has also produced its latest season. Evil Season 3 ended with a jaw-dropping cliffhanger, leaving viewers on the edge of their seats with several pending questions related to what Evil Season 4 has in store. Evil creators Robert and Michelle King have promised to give the show sufficient closure. The fourth and final season is set to bring all the core cast members, including Mike Coulter and Kurt Fuller. The Evil Season 4 trailer promises a lot of horror-driven drama, suggesting the season will be the scariest installment yet. However, the creators face a daunting task in matching up to the show's astounding Rotten Tomatoes streak. Evil Season 4 needs a 100% Rotten Tomatoes score to continue the show's reviews trend. Each season so far has received a better RT score than the last. Evil Season 4 needs a perfect 100% score on Rotten Tomatoes to continue its phenomenal review trend so far. Until now, each season has received a better Rotten Tomatoes score than the last. Evil Season 1 received a whopping 92% score on Rotten Tomatoes, where the critics' consensus called it smartly written and effectively unsettling, arguing that it works best when it dares to delve into the depths of the uncomfortable questions it poses. Season 2, subsequently, received 95%, with the critics praising it for intensifying the frights while maintaining its comedic edge. Evil Season 3, then, received a perfect Rotten Tomato score of 100%. The forces of good and evil continue to tussle in this sterling third season, critics wrote, where one of television's best procedurals amuses and unnerves with equal aplomb. After each season, the creators consistently topped their previous scores. Now, it is impossible to further improve from a perfect score, but Evil Season 4 has to match 100% to maintain its winning Rotten Tomatoes streak. The website score largely reflects how critics have received a film and TV show in general, and Evil has always received overwhelmingly positive reviews. Why Evil's Rotten Tomatoes scores have gotten better with each season. The show's writing, performances, and tone have remained consistently excellent. Christine Lottie as Cheryl Luria looking shocked in Evil, 2019, Season 4. Evil's Rotten Tomato scores have improved with each season because the series has always delivered on its premise of using the horror genre to pose discomforting questions. Throughout its three seasons so far, critics have commended the series for its handling of religious motifs, clever dialogue, and impressive acting. In this vein, these aspects of Evil have not just remained consistent with each season, but have actually gotten better each time. In particular, reviewers have applauded the series for its nuanced portrayal of religion and skepticism within a contemporary setting. Characters in Evil often grapple with the ambiguity of whether a particular occurrence signifies divine intervention, demonic influence, or mere natural causes. The series has consistently straddled these complex themes with utmost maturity and nuance. Yet it does not treat these serious topics in a heavy-handed manner. Instead, the writing in Evil has garnered acclaim for its wit and comedic elements, especially how it balances horror and dark comedy. It is especially rare for a horror TV show to be so well-rated. Now, one can only hope the fourth and final season of Evil can somehow live up to its previous chapters.